Now that you're working uh, in the late, uh, latest arrangements for Exit Wounds, um, how are you these days? I mean, uh, besides excited and are you like stressed or you're just chilling out and waiting for the day? Um, there's still a lot of things that need to be done. Actually, there's, uh, uh, nobody has asked me this question and it's pretty interesting because Usually, almost well, since the second album, we have been professional musicians, which means we only did music. But uh, in, we, we noticed a um, uh, decline in um, uh, the financial situation within the band, so which uh, uh, resulted in that uh, I went to the university and I got myself an education. I work as an IT consultant now. And oh. Jonas is um, a financial accountant. So, yeah. uh, doing, doing music, I mean, I manage the band. Uh, I do a lot of the interviews. I write a lot of the music. And I have a full-time job. So, it is really busy times. <laughs> yeah, I guess, because it's not... It's not only like you're doing, uh, have a living from the music nowadays, but uh, from an actual different kind of job that you didn't do before. Exactly. So when, uh, say, tonight I have uh, four hours of interviews, usually before uh, I would only maybe play a little guitar during the day because I know I'm going to be working during the evening. But now I've uh, done uh, eight hours at work, so I only... Uh, had to hurry home and then I have another four hours here, so oh I'm not complaining. No, no, no. But it, it, it is uh, a different situation, and uh, uh, when you ask, are oh, you relaxing? Well, I am, and I'm happy that the album is out. I, uh, you know, the album will still be out, but uh, there's a lot of things to still be to be done. Also, another thing uh, that uh, can be pretty stressful that many people, I think, maybe don't uh, think about is that. Um, the only two people in the band live in the same city. Marco and Ola live in Stockholm. Yeah. But uh, I live two hours from Stockholm, but Jonas lives in another city two hours from Stockholm and two hours from me. And Angel lives in London. Oh my god, so that's... <laughs> rehearsals must be a hill. It's, it's difficult to plan everything and, you know, uh, um, they were in, some of the band members, other band members are in different bands and you know, they have plans since a long time, you know, the festivals and everything. It's really hard to find time where we can all get together. Like, we need to do uh, two videos before the album is out. I mean, how will, it's really hard to, to find a schedule. Oh my God. Yeah, it's like many people are not really aware of this situation. So it's good that you pointed that out. I mean, that... Yeah. Maybe people just don't really understand what music is about now. So uh, I am. Thank you for. I, I mean, I explained it to me. Yeah, I mean, uh, usually we all live in the same city, and we would rehearse three times a week, and you know, see each other, and oh, we need to do uh, to film a video. Okay, in three days' time, we were going to film a video, and everyone is in the same city, and blah blah. blah. Now it's. Now it's oh, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like so we say you are free, no, I can, you know, and maybe some of you sh uh, have kids and everything, right? Marco has kids. Marco has so kids. I don't have kids, of course, uh, but uh, those are the only two that have kids. But also, yeah, that's true. You know, uh, it's not uh, just to leave your family in, uh, I need to be gone this weekend. No, but we have fans, you know, it's, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, moving on to the record itself, uh, what we I had in hand, I, I've been listening to it, and I had to tell you that it's a uh, total candy bar. It's beautiful. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think it's straight from the heart. I mean it. I really mean it. If, if you allow me uh, to make it some sort of opinion, I think it's fit and thin as so far. Really. Oh wow. Really because the Antian era I, I I thought, you know, with all the problems that the band had, it wasn't really it didn't it lost the feeling, you know, but this active wound is the total step forward like we're back 
you know, we have it. And we determined to, you know, see the haunted again and everything, you know. Uh, so, uh, when did... Keep... What? Yeah, I'm sorry, keep, keep going. Uh, no, 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 no. What were you we were going to tell? No, uh, I mean, um, uh, for, uh, for a release like uh, Unseen, it was very uh, unusual, maybe, for uh, the haunted. And, but then again, we, um, we have never been afraid to try things. And uh, that was what we wanted to do back then, because we were those members back then. Uh -huh. uh, now, uh, the three members uh, are different. And, uh, you know, the outcome will also be different. So it's not like um, we have made a conscious choice to, okay, we're going to sound like this now. It's just what happens when we start to write the uh, ingredients in the band. So we were happy. I, I, I still think there's you know, many good songs on the uh, scene. And I think it's a, a pretty overlooked album. It could have been a lot bigger if you compare it to <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of, many other bands that put out similar albums like that, but uh, it just didn't happen for us, and it put the uh, economical stress on the band even greater. And that's, I think, the biggest reason to why people uh, they chose to leave. Yeah, yeah, maybe that was a rough time, but, but you know, well, I, I really. It's not that I'm not open to variations in the stars. I'm really open to that, but I don't know. Maybe with the province that had the band back then and everything, it's like I really got lost and I didn't know where I was uh, yeah. with the haunted. But I don't know. I'm really happy for you putting an al an album out now. It's like I didn't want it to end, so <laughs> I'm really. No, I'm, I'm, we're happy. I mean, we're really happy about this album too. This is also. And it's just as much uh, the haunted as unseen, but this is this lineup's the haunted. So, and we're happy that people like it. Really happy. Yeah, I think the, the one when it gets out, people are going to love it. Uh, really. <laughs> so, uh, why did you decide to name it Exit Wounds? Like, I, it's a, it suggests like this statement, like uh, an inflection between a closure of an area and a reverse. Uh, from the haunted after yeah. different bands? Uh, hey, uh, it could be. I don't know what you mean by a closure, but uh, the, the, the meaning we have for it is that, first of all, the title goes in a, a haunted tradition of, uh, you know, like, uh, we had an album called, a live album called Live House in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Exit Wounds is, uh, you know, a, a bullet leaving a body. Mm-hmm. Did you know that so when you shoot something? Else, yeah, yeah, yeah. It when when it comes yeah. uh, from the to yeah. the other side. Yes. So um, the the band members that uh, left the band were really important, talented people, and it uh, it uh, left the band very hurt. I mean, we were only two people left, so of course it was not a functioning band. But uh, the uh, the meaning we put into the title is that there's a a, a pause between exit it's exit wounds. So the, our wounds are now healed, as we have all the band member and uh, a functioning band again. So the band isn't uh, like uh, hurt. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Was I I was exit. trying to express that, but maybe. I didn't pick up the the correct words for it, but it's just what what I was thinking when I when I read the title. Like you were, you know, healing in some way and say, okay, you're gonna go forward. And exactly, because uh, the band members that we lost are very talented people, and uh, I mean, uh, Andrews, uh, he's written a lot of the haunted songs, and uh, Peter is an amazing uh, lyrical writer and an amazing guy on stage. Peter Pear is probably one of the most uh, overlooked drummers in the whole metal scene because he's really, really good. So, I mean, it was a huge blow to the band. But now we are new members, we are a functioning band, and uh, we wanted to... I think you're getting a closure is uh, actually a pretty good word.